Welcome back everybody to another episode of She Plays Skyrim. And when we last left off, we took on two almighty dragons, the frost dragons. And god damn it, why do you guys gotta charge in? Hello? That takes care of you. You guys just are not the sneaky types, are you? What are you doing, Fado? What are the Force Torn? Are they are they are they vampires? They seem like it. I mean, because if you look at this guy, because I've seen the Force Torn before, this guy has his heart exposed. Look at that. Or is it a heart? It almost looks like he's got something in there. That's oh, it's a Briar heart. That's that's uh. That's rather creepy, and I just took it. Oh my god, I just took it. Oh, wow. Well, while they're rushing ahead to quite possibly death, I'm going to explore a little bit. Get some goodies, because everybody likes goodies. Jump on a bed, and... Oh, well. Now we gotta jump on the bed. Jumping on the bed, jumping on the bed. Okay, let's go. All right. Off we go to find out. Oh, we don't even know because those two rushed on ahead without us. Whoa. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes. These are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You had the symbol for king and warrior. And of course, the symbol for dragon woman. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape. Okay. Well, oh, while you guys are figuring out the little puzzle. Oh, place in mine. No! My pickaxe! I don't have my pickaxe! Oh, wait, Fandel, Fandel, do you have my pickaxe? I've got your back. Yes! Fandel has my pickaxe! Alright, what's this puzzle? Let's see. Hmm. Can these. Yeah, these can be moved. What do we have up there? Do we have anything that might be of use to us? Hmm. We must be getting close. We should be careful. There's no telling what traps and wards the ancient blades may have set. I see. We'd best be careful in here. Yes, let us be careful. Now how do we find this out? Yes, that's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Okay. Given that Skyhaven temple was seen Whoa. against the Whoa. return of the dragon. Oh. Try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Huh. Whatever you did, it worked. Good. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Because I, I don't even know what I did, but good. Oh, gross. I just stepped in a spider web. Okay, see, unlike you guys, I don't charge headstrong into this thing, especially considering these appear to be pressure plates. But luckily, I have my. Work! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! You guys don't have a perk, though. <laughs> Dog, wait here. Oh, fucking Fandel. You moron. See, I don't really activate them. At least I shouldn't. Alright. Oh, okay. Vigilance. Well, 
Thanks for nearly getting me killed, dog. Since they just seem about freaking running in, headstrong. They don't care about being sneaky or silent, you know, you never- Oh, that's so a trap. That is so a trap. Nobody puts a treasure chest. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved. You are a trap, aren't you? You are such a trap. Ah. Uh, well, since I know it's a trap, at least I'm pretty sure it's a trap. I didn't want the dwarven helmet, though. Oh, there's stuff to mine over here. Sorry, do you guys need me? I'm a little busy right now. Or, 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 or would be nice. More, or. Wait, what are you guys saying? Esbern's probably right. Try using your blood on a carved seal on the door. Oh, great. It's coming to life. Whoa, what did I do? Oh my god, that's that creepy. You are a creepy statue. Yeah, yeah, you did. After you, ladies first, right? Or excuse me, in this case, kitties first. What do we have in here? Fame Dell, what the fuck? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Jesus! Jesus! Oh, it's too quiet in here. It's really pretty, but it's awfully quiet in here. Where's everyone else? Oh, there they are. Cheers! It looks like someone had dinner around here somewhere. Look, this is a wall with inscriptions on it. Hey, I saw this in the trailer. Cool. And slowly go through it. The dragons are attacking with the horses and men. And there's an old man in the middle. And the dragon coming out of him. And there's some more people. And more dragons. Okay, cool. Where are you guys at? You taking your time? God, you walked slow. Just saying. Well, I'll explore a little bit over here first. Do I have a torch? Alright, I do. Light. Light, dang you. Guess not. Ooh, lots of doors in here. What is going on? Oh, there's a room in here. And more stairs. I don't like this. Cow hide in here. Can't light the fire. I didn't start the fire. Da -da 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 Horker tusk? Yeah, I'll take them with the shoots. Dude, this place is too good to be true. There's just too many treasures. Let's go back in here in the main room. Where these two have finally reached it. Alright. Look, here is your friend. This panel goes back to the beginning of time. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of that torch. Ruined all the skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against their dragon lords. Legendary dragon. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. Oh, so that's all doing. Here is fallen from the sky. The Nord talks, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. Oh. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shot. But. There's no way to know what shall this matter. Oh, what's in there? 
You mean they used a shell? Dragon vein? Hollow? Blades armor? It's heavy armor, though. Whoa! Look at all these blades. Oh, and they sell good, too. Oh, my goodness. Why do I get the feeling I'll never be able to come back here again? Especially after all I put all that you stuff in there. you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Would be nice. But the Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this. But it seems we have no choice. What do you have against the old men, anyway? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think uh. about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No, not really. No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me. There is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Well, power is kind of dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice. And there's always a risk. Yeah, I guess. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Well, we'll right. go see. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. What do you need, in the third man. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Well, I was never much of a history person myself, so I'm going to go and deal with some old men. Good. Okay. Talk to me. Sky above. Voice. I need to learn the shout that you uh, the shout used to feed Alduin. How did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Uh no one. Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Oh, well. The blades helped me find out about it. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. I don't want him to think Their I'm reckless evil. Reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Well, I don't like being a tool. But, uh, they just kind of, I mean, uh, they don't want to be, they just want to defeat Alduin. That, that's what I think. What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Well, Have history doesn't repeat itself. that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Or maybe he was meant to be Those who down. overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end... So be it. Let it in and be reborn. You fucking weirdo. Why don't you no, help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Are you in my head? You weirdo. Dragonborn. Wait. Uh, forgive me. I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision ah. whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So you'll teach me this shout? No. 
I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. Ah. It is called Dragon Rent, but its words of power are unknown to us. Really? We do not regret this loss. Dragon Rend holds no place within the way of the voice. But I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragon Rend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. No offense, dog, but you're being a little annoying. The shout is lost, so how am I supposed to defeat this only dragon? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Who the hell is that? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. I see. Why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Wait, this isn't he the peak? He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. I see. How do I get there? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Yay! We're gonna learn a new shout. We're gonna learn a new shout. New shout. New shout. <laughs> you look so stupid. Oh, at least it's you and not me. I look awesome with my seat gear. Oh wait, where's my hoodie? There we go. Jesus, you walk slow! Spirit of Nin. Huh. I wonder what that is. It's a book. I'm kind of curious. He carries it with him. I her ask our courtyard. I guess we're coming over here. To the fire. The bonfire! Yay! I'm finally gonna get my s'mores! Oh, well, you old man, boy, hurry up! Hi, Dougie. I love you, but you're kind of annoying. Just saying. Don't, don't give me that look. You're so cute. I wish I could play with you, like in freaking Fable. show you how to open the way. Really? This up here, right? Do we come in here? No, we don't do that. Oh, I guess I gotta stay down here. Lock. Learn clear skies shout. Lock va. Core. Two dragons there. All right. Now what do we do? All right, let's try this. Yo! Ah! Woo! Here we go. We're gonna go talk to an old man in Mountain who hasn't talked to people in a while. Now he's gonna be approached by a pussy cat. Meow. I'm a cat. Get. Meow 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 meow. Cut! What is that? <coughs> oh. Yo! <coughs> yeah. Don't you. Don't you do it. What the heck? A goat is here. How is a goat surviving up here? Huh? Huh? A goat can survive up here, but I couldn't. <coughs> That was close. Oh, I'm 
I'm not in first person. Here I was thinking I was in first person. No! Ah! Well, okay. It killed the goat. Let's go. I guess we gotta hurry. Whoa! Whoa! What are you? Oh my god. What is that? No! I killed Vigilant. Or I attacked Vigilant. I'm sorry, Vigilance. Yo! Ah! Alrighty. It's getting awfully. Ooh, my sword is sparking. I will name you Sparky. Another freaking ice rat. Yo! Gives me it's that mod. It curses audience. Whoa, there's another one. Ah, there we go. Come on, we must go. Yo. for a minute. He's like, yeah, we're more though. What's this? <sighs> Nothing. Yo! Ah! ah, here we go. We've reached another dead end where we must wait. Yo! Stumble, my kitty cat. Throat of the world of whatever. Let us save. Oh. A dragon! Actually, this sword is good against dragons. Whoa! Oh my god! He's. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. He's. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I... I wasn't expecting this. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. So I'm a dragon too? Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude on your meditation. But can can you teach me the shout? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the dove. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I will seize my By weapon. Long tradition, the elder speaks first. Very well. Speak on. Hear my thum. Feel nice. it in so your bones. Cool. Match it. I love if you. you are Dova King. Oh, your hornet's broken. Do you need me to fix that? Hello. 
Why do you intrude here if not for Tinvak? Tinvak? What is Tinvak? I don't know, but I'm gonna learn this shout. So cool, love you. Can I go for a ride? <gasps> you will give me a ride, right? That would be so cool. Now, Don't you say a word of this. You can do. Greet me not as Kajit, but as Dova. Fire breath shout. Dol! Oh, oh! I didn't hurt you, did I? Yes. Sosedo Vlost Mool, the dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Yay! You are just so cool. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. <laughs> what would you ask of me? Uh, I'm gonna go for a ride. Oh, well, I guess you can... Ah, I had expected you, Proda. Guess you you guess would not too. come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yeah, I guess. Can I turn into a dragon and fight him? Th that's kind of a stupid question. I only asked him twice how I came for a dragon rand. Mm, yes. They are very protective of me. I can't really blame them. Bahlan Fadon. Bahlan. But I do not know the thum you seek. What? Croesus. It cannot be known to me. Why not? Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove. Oh, I see. The dragons. And you're a dragon. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Well, uh, how can I help? Them, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thum? So I can kill Alduin, though. Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Uh, because I need to protect the people. I don't want it to end, the world. Cruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? That's kind of a tough question. But, uh... I guess the next world will... Uh, either of these answers are kind of stupid. The first one is, I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. I don't want to argue with a dragon. I and the, ne the other one's the next world will have to take care of itself. But I'm here protecting this world, but I guess... I guess the next world can take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Why are you so negative, man? Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. Well, I could die tomorrow in a car accident, but, but you don't you see me stop going to school. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, 
Now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Uh... I never really thought about it, honestly. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokrevax Truma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. I see. Another history lesson. Yay. Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. Duh. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Why does this kind of seem stupid? The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. Oh great, so now I'm fighting but a cripple. This was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Uh huh. What the hell is an Elder Scroll? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. That makes sense. Rahwatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. Okay. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls, uh, as you name them. You were cold, right? They have but often now you don't been shut used up. for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Surya. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day what, he would serve Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Well, apparently you are not in the right place, because if you were, you would be able to take him on. But how does this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. I knew the Nords were assholes. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back. You could learn Dragonrend from ah. those who created it. I see. Okay, so I gotta find an Elder Scroll. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. I see. Well, maybe yes for an Trust whatever. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Okay, well. Drem your lock. Greetings. Uh, no, I want to not talk to him. Okay, wow, that was a long history lesson there. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Dragon. You are so cool. Oh my god. Look, oh, you are gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at those scales. That's beautiful Speak. work right there. <laughs> I will listen. <laughs> uh, you have 
nasty breath. Ugh, breath. Oh, brush your teeth, dragon. Oh, but you are so awesome. Look at that. You are awesome. Hey, you're a wyvern. You're not a dragon. Dragons have four legs. Wyverns have two. But I guess we'll just stick with dragon. Oh well. Um, I have to end the episode there. That took way much longer than I was expecting. You are so cool. I love you. And look at your eyes. You're blind. Or you look blind. Can you stop looking at me? I want to see your eyes. I'm gonna get far. Over here. You are so cute! Oh my god, I could just draw you. Look at you. You just- Oh, you're like a muse. Okay, anyway, yeah, uh, gotta stop, gotta stop. Uh, we are going to- Now we have to find an Elder Scroll. But I will see you guys next time when she plays Skyrim.